podcast sponsored by got it <laughs> your favorite grocery delivery something got it <laughs> got it <laughs> we need yeah, like everyone knows that that old uh, commercial for got it yeah um it's kind of how it goes around here we have a topic for the moment the topic was introductions we got completely sidetracked and uh that's just par for the course or also avid golfers what uh, binary jest on us speak for yourself chris alice and i hit the uh the links as it were on the regular yeah and i don't mean sausage um we're also on twitter you can find us there um if you found us here you found us on a podcast client thing why don't you join us show format it's a topic we talk about it ideas chris and i have no idea oh i should introduce people yeah <laughs> well chris is that person allison's the other person and i'm gary hi i don't know i don't know that i don't know that this is my uh, worst intro but it's certainly not my best <laughs> it's some awful ones um at least this one isn't like a uh me throwing the gas pedal and crashing into a brick wall as i've started other times so i think maybe i'm a little you, uh we're just letting you lunch. spiral <laughs> yeah that's fine i had uh leftover corn on the cob and green beans and risotto and potatoes and onions um so it was too big of a lunch I mean, granted, it was like two hours ago, but still, I'm a little lethargic after my lunch, and it's unseasonably warm today. So, I'm a, uh, I'm literally the snail from uh, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> literally. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Yeah. Why not? Oh, I do have some news on um, my framing front, though. Yesterday, oh, framing. It's not a lot of news, but it's some news. I completely forgot about it until yesterday I was out and I passed a car that had a magnet on the side and they are local and do framing. And I took a picture as far as I've gotten, <laughs> but slowly we're so getting baby there. steps. So, that's what so I'm going to, uh, at the end of work today, I'm going to pull out my little Ikea tape measure and measure my poster and measure the um, uh, breaker box behind it and send a message to them and say, Hey, let's make something cool happen. That's it. Excellent. Great. Yeah, I know. I know everyone was kind of waiting for that. That's yeah, big up for here. sure. Yeah. I didn't have any training. big goals from the last podcast, but I'm sure I've achieved something in the in, in the interim period. Uh, I think I've it's collected... fair that we never leave um, podcasts with uh, goals. So <laughs> the one time we did, I felt the need to report on it. And the report is generally like, you know, my school report, like, ah, I'm making progress. <laughs> I collected a number of stupid things to bring to binary jazz. Uh, what number is it? <laughs> what number is it? Number <laughs> what, of things. Number of things? Um, I don't know. A bunch. Yeah. It's it's you know not an exhaustive list. Oh, boy, if you um, if if numerology isn't your thing, you should try having a four year old in the house after they just turned four from three. I have Everything a thing about numerology right now. There were three of that thing. Now there's a pile of four of that thing. There's a pile of five. That'll be the next number that I am. It's like, all right. I have, I have a, I have a stupid, stupid questions on Quora. Uh, and then I found mm. uh, after our last episode, I, I bookmarked a bunch of stupid uh, wiki how uh, articles. Uh, and then I also have an article that is about the death of Yahoo Answers um, because uh, I guess while I wasn't looking because I wasn't paying attention to Yahoo Answers, Yahoo Answers became sort of a meme uh, in the stupid questions that people ask. And I don't know if people were asking these questions because they legitimately were hoping to get those answers on Yahoo Answers or if people were asking these questions because they wanted to troll like the internet at, at, at as as a whole um either way uh either way it's uh it's entertaining so i will have some possibly post uh topic reveal uh content that i can bring okay well like i say every week i think you'll know this topic <laughs> <laughs> oh. good excellent i think you need to lower our expectation your expectations of us yeah 
<sighs> aren't you don't you feel some sort of reassurement that i that i think you know them like that i think it's well, a some sort of information that you're familiar with <laughs> i do i do um but also then i'm a little disappointed in myself when you now it's a topic and i'm like got nothing we uh like, we watched uh oceans 11 last night represented myself at some that's point so weird we we've been on a real oceans binge we just watched oceans 12 <laughs> yeah we well, like, we, all right <laughs> we watched oceans eight a while ago with the kids and and so last how many of these uh, are there a lot uh, so 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 I watched uh, so I wanted to watch Ocean's Eleven to sort of like swear I've not started. seen any of them and 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 the um, Aaron and I were talking about it afterwards and the the female love interest who is attracted to male main whoever male character that is like on top like successful trope she was like I I understand that character. I don't understand why you would want to be with that character. Uh, and my hypothesis was that it's like, it's, it's a uh, val validation thing uh, that you would want to, you would seek out a person who um, only goes out with the successful person because that then sh reflects back onto you that you are that successful person. So by Allison assuming that we know uh, the the topics that she brings to us, it is reflecting on us that she believes us to be that best version of ourselves that we probably will fail to be. <laughs> that tracks. Or you'll, or you'll step all tracks. up and hit a home run, like who you knows? <laughs> well, then we'll just be meeting expectations, though. Really, that's true. Uh, that's honestly <laughs> what I strive for these days. Chris. <laughs> yeah, expectations. I think that's all anybody lowered do. expectations <laughs> yes i had a, a a customer that would say it to me constantly on the phone we would like i would talk to him about you know well i wish we'd done dot 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 and he's like i don't really think you'd be happy if you just lowered your expectations and he was sincere and <laughs> i don't i mean he's still working there and is happy and i've changed jobs like 27 times since then so mm. Maybe he's onto something. Maybe I'm just. <sighs> What's your topic today, Allison? The topic today is Papa. I used to call my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the answer is not Gary's grandfather. <laughs> is it P A W P A W? Is it P A U P A U? Is this like. It's okay. So there's multiple spellings, but I'm going to go with the one that I saw first, which is P A W P A W. And is it hyphenated? No. Oh. <laughs> so I had any idea. <laughs> I guess, well, I guess depending, you could put, throw a hyphen in there. Yeah. There's no rules. Could be I a mean, well, since I was going to yeah. say, besides being Gary's grandfather, yeah, uh, it, T. Wilk, Tyler, middle <laughs> name. It's where my middle name comes from. Yep. And uh, my son's first name. Uh, we love just love everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we Are we going to get a C and D for that, Sam? <laughs> uh, hopefully not. Yeah. Try and make a cease and desist. Well, I guess eventually we will cease and desist. Uh, besides That's being morbid. besides Shit, being Gary's grandfather, uh, Papa is a game that you play with cats. Pa, 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 pa. No, it is a game though. It's an outdoor game. Uh, it's like the replacement for lawn darts, but instead of using like darts, it's like the blunt ends so nobody gets stabbed when they're playing. It's filled with sacks of beans at the end. I want to go to a barbecue at your house. <laughs> All right. The games, the games must be very uh, <laughs> either more intense or less intense. I'm not sure. Well, lawn darts was like a thing in the 70s, 80s, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they were like, apparently in like a rare moment of unity, lawmakers all over the U.S. decided that that was like an unsafe thing after people were you know, taking lawn darts to the brain and whatnot. And so, yeah, that's not a thing anymore. I, I mean, I guess it is like, like garage sales. I mean, we have we have lawn darts, but they're like. They're blunt. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because blunt force trauma to the head sounds a lot better. I don't know what. Yeah, now that I think about it, what did this solve? 
You can really throw anything at someone's head. Even That's like a, true. Or, probably a big bean. Ball or, <laughs> you know, like it's now it's a bean bag at the end with like you know feathers on it. It was big bean pushing behind it. Like we have to out all these things. We can sell more beans. <laughs> big bean. The fact that Papa. I love that. Actually, that's the best thing I've said here today. Can be spelled yeah. different ways. Yeah. Uh, tells me it's possibly of Asian origin, because when you westernize Asian words, then you often just spell them however it sounds. I think you're overthinking it, Chris. Like, it's my grandpa, but literally, like, it's broader. It's just... Grandpas and grandfathers family, in general. Yeah, a family term for, like... A, a parental unit. I think if that was the case, Allison would have told us. <laughs> well, I will. I think I she's. Will, I will tell you that it has bit. more than one name, but this is what people call it. So it's kind of like Gary Scrap, but in that regard. <laughs> we had lots of names for him. Yeah, yeah, and he didn't. Uh, he he uh, cucumbers gave him heartburn, but he loved pickles. So he would, whenever we'd have dinner, he would pickle me. Oh, I'm gonna regret this later. Who knows if it was, it was probably it was probably all about martinis. It had nothing to do with the, pick, the <laughs> cucumbers, but whatever, you know. My uh, my grandfather, my grandfather was Pop, not Papa. And the reason why mm -hmm. he was Pop was because of daytime television. Mm. Uh, because I would watch. Nickelodeon during the day and during the day on Nickelodeon they played all of the really old like 50s era sitcoms which then became uh TV land uh when they oh. that separate spin-off uh channel so before sure. TV land they they played that stuff on Nickelodeon and because it was Nickelodeon that was all I watched uh and I think I don't remember what show it was it could have been my three sons it could have been leave it to beaver i don't remember but there was some joke where there's a dad and his daughter and a boy comes in who wants to date his daughter uh and he comes in and i didn't obviously get the joke at the time <laughs> <laughs> But the boy comes in and introduces himself to the dad, who's obviously upset because it's the 50s and it's dating and it's my daughter and the shotgun and whatever. Uh, and he's like, hiya, pops. Mm -hmm. uh, and ever since hiya, pops, in whatever that show was, my grandfather was pop. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I have a picture. I don't even know if I have a picture anymore. At some point I had a picture. I think I was a junior. And when it was going to homecoming, maybe taking some girl to homecoming. Um, and I had to go meet her father. So there's a picture of me sitting next to her and her father standing behind me holding a baseball bat. Like, the hell? Fucking weird, man. My, my godfather with his daughters would ask to see their driver's license and then make a photocopy of it in front of them, then hand it back and just be like, have a great night. <laughs> wow i was like wow that's a power move <laughs> it really is i don't know like part of me like is like yeah let's do that and part of me is like that's so gross but also it's kind of funny <laughs> like i wouldn't want to it, I would, it wouldn't be like serious it would be like i just want to do this to be like to to, to troll the, yeah, exactly. the, the the kid that's that's going to be dating my daughter <laughs> I had a grandpa and then I had pops on the other side of the family. Mm. I had a papa or paws on occasion. Paws. Sure. And steamboat. Oh. What? I need to know more about steamboat. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Um, he got the name from, uh, so on that side of the family, I am the third oldest. There are two older than me. Uh, and so the oldest grandchild in that family um tom uh who like is kind of like left the family and they're not in contact for years now um he uh at some point his family was living with before the name steamboat steamboat and so steamboat liked to um sail and so he had built a sailboat with my dad and one of my uncles 
when they were, you know, like middle school, high school aged, and uh, maybe even a bit older than that, and they goofed around and went and like, you know, did like small like sailing races. But Tom didn't understand, you know, in his mind from these books, the kids' books, he was, you know, four or five. So he became Steamboat because that was what he went and played with on the weekends with a steamboat. In fact, it was a sailboat, but Steamboat stuck and all of the grandkids called him that until he passed in February 2020. Nice. Yeah. Gosh, that, is not, that is not what Papa is, obviously, it's because three, again, four, five, six, seven, eight. Allison would have told us if Papa was just a nickname for grandfathers. <laughs> yeah, just grandfather stuff, you know. <laughs> what am I forgetting? Robin's, one of Robin's grandpa, grandpas was Pom Pom, <laughs> which I also like. <laughs> that's, that's funny, especially since, so I've been playing a lot of uh, Magic the Gathering Arena. And there's a new set called uh, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. And within the story of Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, there is a little robot, I want to say raccoon, uh, whose name is Pompon. Pompon? Pom -pom? Or Pon <laughs> Or Pon Pom. One of those. <laughs> Wait, Chris, we're going about this wrong. Yes, we are. If, if Allison uh, held like a meeting in the hallway, who would have been there? Robin. So, so it's obviously something Asian. Oh shit, you're right. <laughs> you're way ahead of me. I know. That's what I said. It's obviously it's something that's out. that's on Robin's mind and something that's he's currently fixated on, but I don't <laughs> <laughs> if it was it's just spring, it's a flower. If it was just Speaking of flowers, paw. oh my goodness, y'all. So much is popping here so much if it was just pa then yeah. it would be an acronym for something but pa pa that's, uh, that's different maybe maybe pa pa <laughs> i know i know <laughs> pa pa so you know how police in the united states are sometimes referred to as popos pa pa is what is police in canada refer to <laughs> Do you remember we briefly had a conversation about how? Um, <laughs> oh no, uh, it's the Papas! <laughs> this cat pumpkin, I should call him Gordo. Gordo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, I, I think have I have I shared that I've like created like a vibrant backstory for him. He's actually from Toronto. Yes, I believe it. Okay. Yeah, Gordo. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. we had the Paralympics on last night, and uh, Katie made the comment that he must be cheering for the Canadian team because. It's Canadian, and I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes. Buy into this weird backstory for this cat. Yeah, it. and and his 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 last name is 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 Hal. <laughs> um, I, I saw the coolest interview with some Paralympians, and one person um, wasn't completely blind, but legally blind let's say and then the other person's in her earpiece basically as she's alpine skiing telling her where, where to go essentially oh man just like and she gets up to like i don't remember the speed she said but it was quite high and i was wow. just like i didn't Those... know i'm like i don't know i i don't know all the sports that are involved but i didn't know that was one of them and i was just like that's and then they have this amazing communication system because obviously it's like split yeah. second is needed you can't just be like hey maybe hang a left in the next five <laughs> seconds or something and so it was just it was really interesting like the bondedness of of the pair and i thought that was quite cool those are the real athletes and yeah and i was like i can't ski like that anyway so yeah, i can't <laughs> ski anyway so yeah. that, that's horrifying i think about like how fast people are plummeting down the hill and uh and then to also like introduce that lag between what you hear and how quickly your body can respond. Like, you know, it's not like you can plan ahead. Like at some point you're just like <clears throat> left, no more left, seriously left, hard, hard, hard. Like, yeah. oh my God, please turn left. Like, <laughs> please turn left. Yeah, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be very good at that. It turns out. I wouldn't be good at either side of that. I yeah. wouldn't be a good communicator and I wouldn't be a good receiver. So they are they wearing like GoPros or something like so that the other person can see what they're seeing or like are they watching from just monitors? Drone. Yeah. The drone. 
Yeah. I believe- no harness either. They're just holding on to it with one arm. That's what makes it extreme. <laughs> <laughs> They're just trailing behind in like a sled. Yeah. Um, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> no, I believe they have them on monitors with like a bunch of camera angles and stuff. Hmm. Who, can you imagine the first person that was like, look, I know that like I have some vision problems, but I want you to guide me down this slope. Their friend is like, mm, no, no, I don't, I don't think so. Like, no, trust me, it's going to be fine. Mm. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know anyone I would trust enough to, to be able to do that. <laughs> I'm going to start with like my physical ability. To see. Yeah. Like that's the number one disqualifier. But secondarily, yes, like I know many people that could have that kind of focus, but I don't know that I would trust them to not be a human being and like, right, I left. <laughs> yeah. You know? Mm. Mm. No, you're left. <laughs> <laughs> the other left. <laughs> Although I bet that skier probably doesn't do this move. Oh God, that's terrible. I wasn't thinking about the visual impairment. The, I was like, like, do you ever do that still? Like look at your hands, like left and right now? I just think about which one I write with and then figure yeah. it out from there. So yeah, I do kind of I, do it silently. I don't know that I ever did the right left thing like that. I don't know okay. that I ever had a hard time remembering <laughs> which hand was right and which hand was left. I mean, surely, yeah. surely when I was too young to know <laughs> what right and left was, I yeah. probably had trouble with it, but I don't know that I ever did the raising hands above face in the shape of an L. I think where I struggle is in the old timey world of maps where like the map doesn't rotate Mm -hmm. with the direction you're pointing. You know, you're looking at a map and you're actually going south and you're like, that's a, that's a right. And I feel like then I have to make the shape with my hands just to confirm. Mm -hmm. It's like when you like solve like a math equation and you double check your work by replacing X with the value you came up with. And you're like, yeah, that does work. It actually is seven or whatever. This is thrilling. thrilling <laughs> this is like uh, the alley in Gary's brain. It's like I'm taking the trash out from here in a while. That dumpster's a little overflowing. <laughs> Doesn't smell though. It's it's fine. Uh, papa. It's a fruit. It's a fruit. I'm really hopeful. I, I, I liked where you were I, going. I'm, I'm hankering for fruit now. I liked I, where I you were going with, with it. It was a flower or something that is blooming because it's spring. Mm. Maybe it's maybe I, I'm still I still think it's I still think it's something of of Asian origin. So maybe it's some I don't, sort of I don't think it is. Some, I think some it's sort of flower seems off to me. Yeah, well, yeah, but it can be spelled differently. Maybe it's just, maybe yeah, maybe it's a it's a food. It is a food. It's like a pudding. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I think it's, it's a, it's a it pudding. Might be time for my grand reveal. <laughs> Put, wait, wait, let me finish this. It's a pudding made from uh, fruit and flowers, so it could be like a lemon orchid pudding. Doesn't that sound good? Wouldn't you eat that right now? <laughs> I would watch someone else eat it. Yeah. Well, it might be me. It sounds really good to me. <laughs> or even like, like banana. A banana pop I just want pudding, it turns out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that we really honed in on what craving you have. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. <laughs> okay. I think yeah. it's a big reveal. L- let's, let's do the reveal, I guess. The reveal is, is that it is a fruit. Oh, hell yes. <clears throat> And it's it another has, word for it has a pulpy pudding like consistency. Oh no. <laughs> Gary is right on two counts. Um, what it, what are some other names for it? Well, the Latin name is Asamina triloba, but it's also known as the American papa or uh, a custard apple, sheramoya, which is one that yeah. I've heard. Sweet sop. Oh. Yeah. It's all in that same family. So sometimes people group it in with the other ones. Huh. 
Well, I'm going to um, freak some people out of the local food line. <laughs> It's the somewhere. largest edible fruit that's indigenous to the United States. Wow. Wow. Flavor so comparisons? They um, are like kind of a, if you look up pictures, there's kind of like a custardy mishmash inside and they taste somewhere banana, mango, pineapple. Oh, wow. This might be the first time we finish a call and I have to go find the thing immediately. Um, you no, know, they're, they're, yeah, they're native to the Eastern United States and Canada. So, um, but also they can be, why this is relevant is that we are doing our garden. Mm -hmm. See, see. <laughs> and we can grow them here, we've discovered. And so we were like, that would be really cool to have a tree that yeah. has pawpaws on it. Um, Anyway, so the only pawpaw tree in all of uh, Ladysmith. Yeah, I think it so. is worth throwing the disclaimer. Please do not hang your grandparents from a tree. True. <laughs> uh, fascinating. Uh, on the on the on the uh, stupid things for binary. See if you're underselling it, Chris. <laughs> I you know it's only because you're hungry, Gary. Yeah, Gosh, I'm more so now. <laughs> Uh, stupid things for binary jazz. Uh, Yahoo Answers is dead, but there are uh, stupid things that that live on in its legacy, uh, including the question that was asked by anonymous. Uh, what did my dad just say to me? Get off the internet. <laughs> the, so the the text the further text is I was listening to my iPod and I couldn't hear him. <laughs> Turn that damn shit off. <laughs> um, was it, so iPod, this was in the dial-up days. Uh, it was five years ago. It says five years oh, ago, which I assume that it means iPod? five years before it went offline, but this screenshot could have been taken, you know, anytime. Oh. Um, Wait, five. <laughs> so this is, here's a question. Here's a question for our resident Canadian. Um, and, and again, remember, we are an advice show and we are answering real questions by real people and giving them the answers that they require. So this question comes from somebody who is presumably not Canadian to our resident Canadian. Mm. The question is asked by Ethan six, six years ago. Classic Ethan. <laughs> If you die in Canada, do you die in real life? <laughs> I, I actually would be interested in the answer to this one too. <laughs> I can't speak from personal experience, but yeah. anecdotally, I believe yes. <laughs> That's a strong answer. <laughs> uh, um, Studies say. Uh, here is here is that he's point to yes. <laughs> I was um, almost mad at the segment, Chris, but that was solid. This this <laughs> this is this is from a decade ago. Uh, but you don't know when the screenshot was, so it could have been a decade ago, like eight years ago. Right? Yes, it yeah, could have been, awesome. but probably not. Why uh, I don't, th I don't think, stamps, then? I don't think I don't think it, it doesn't show. I, this I, is from I, the past. Yeah. yeah. No kidding. More, more than I'll say, more than a decade ago. Okay. Uh, my stupid cup holder. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. My stupid computer cup holder. Uh, angry <clears throat> face. Help ASAP. Uh, they say this is from Stephen. More than a decade ago. Uh, asked in the family and relationships, singles and dating section. So I press the top button on the cup for the cup holder. Uh, Sorry. Oh, the CD so wrong. I, I press the top button on my computer for the cup holder for my big gulp. Usually I go with the bottom cup holder, but I was feeling ballsy. But the big gulp got stuck, and now I don't know what to do. Help. And then there's a follow up, an update. Well, how do I get the damn big gulp out? <laughs> Got no words. No words. I mean, there, we might have 
people that listen to this podcast that have the same questions. You know, I we think, need to. I think you I find slowly that lift it out. Drink the no wait. Drink the liquid first through a straw. Get a Mac. Get a Mac. Yeah. Get, get something Mac. without a CD get, get something without. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or an iPad. I used an iPad in the kitchen yesterday. I have an old um, iPad Mini that has been aged for a while, and I found that when I'm like cooking, I often have like notes on my phone, which means I'm often like smearing stuff on my phone because I, I'm apparently just like a mess in the kitchen. I'm like, what the hell with that? And I realized we have an iPad Mini we're not using, so I charged it yesterday, put all my notes on there, and it had like timer and stuff, and I got to smear stuff on it. At the end, I was like, you know, paper towel, clean it off with a wipe, dry it off, whatever. Perfect. Also, the screen feels like it's plasticky. So, do you wear an apron when you cook? Sometimes, I've been known to. Yeah, I didn't yesterday. Uh, yesterday was a little weird. I don't, uh, but I should. Yeah, that's my answer as well. Is that I'm always like, ah, why? Why am I doing? But I do wear an apron when I'm doing stuff with the resin printer because I don't want to get resin on me, and that's probably a bigger deal than food stains, which will actually come out in the wash. True. My problem is if I wear an apron, I'm wearing long sleeves. I feel like my sleeves are just covered anyway. That's fair. So, uh, asked by Tony in society and culture languages more mm. than five years ago. Mm. Is it possible? Is it possible to learn how to fly like literally fly like Goku? Or is that something that you can never learn how to do? And then... I would say it depends on your body mass and <laughs> personal wingspan. Sorry, Tony. <laughs> the, the, no. the, the further <laughs> dis description of the question is, is it possible to fly question mark question mark? I want to get so strong that I teach myself how to fly and not just like a little bit. I mean, I really want to learn how to acquire the skill and use it in my daily life because that is something that will make me happy like yeah. goku or like vegetables because they are really cool um i think i, I just picture <laughs> like, no no not just a little bit not just like a little off the ground i really want to be flying flying <laughs> i mean i think my answer for tony is only in canada <laughs> only in canada yeah see above uh if you die in canada do you die in real life yeah if you fly in canada do you fly in real life here. that's that's the question <laughs> <laughs> those are the good uh or at least those are the the yahoo answers that i have from what number was that was that three or four uh, uh <laughs> for the number i just a seven i what Not what are you seven. asking how many questions how many questions did i ask what <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um i don't know there's this can we go yeah. with three or four? Yes, yeah. I, I'm happy. Probably with four. Uh, there's one. Awesome. What did my dad say to my say to me? Two. If you die in Canada, do you die in real life? Three. Yeah. My my cup computer holder. cup holder. Four. Uh, and then four. If you fly in Canada, you fly was in Canada. was yeah. yeah flying yeah, like literally flying though. Whew. But not Glad just like a little. Settled. Like like literally yeah. like literally actually flying. like like yeah. actually flying like Goku. Oh. In, in real life, like Goku. <laughs> my goodness do you have any gary questions for us um because less than a minute is the best time uh, <laughs> for gary to answer gary questions they're, they're always short and they don't need like a long descriptive answer for sure <laughs> they're always short and they don't take well five minutes all right to ask. so Allison, uh, oh yeah, I made even the question. You're right. <laughs> Allison suggested a book a week ago, and it took me five days to read it, which is pretty good. Um, I was gonna say, is that is that par for the course? I have no idea. I don't really know how many pages it was because I read it on my my uh, my iPad, but not the kitchen iPad, the other iPad. Five hundred and something, I think. That's a lot. That's a um, lot of pages. I fell in love with so many of the characters, um, and I I am at this crossroads now. Like, do I want to read the next book or? Going to sit on it for a while and just remember what we had. Thank you for listening to Binary Jazz. If you like this episode, you can subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, and Stitcher. 
You can visit us online at binaryjazz.us or follow us on Twitter at at binaryjazz. Special thanks to Serpiente Negra Ensemble for the use of their tracks for our intro and outro music. You can find them online at serpientenegra.bandcamp.com. Don't forget that you can ask us a question through the forum on the website or on Twitter, and we'll read it aloud on the next episode of Binary Jazz.